these types of sales you really only find them you know once a year this this goes down the record books right laura like this oh, was the estate 100%. sale probably of 2022 if you are new to our channel this is what we do subscribe down below and you'll see more incredible hauls just like this Hey guys, welcome back to Shiny Bright Doggo. If you're new here, Janine and I are always on the lookout for vintage holiday, retro mid-century goodness. And today we're going to a really exciting estate sale. We saw the listing maybe a week or so ago and the pictures looked really interesting. It looked like a lot of old things from the 50s, 70s. Not a lot of holiday pictures at the time, but we had this hunch that we should just go and see what we could find. And let me tell you, this was a diggers sale. It was a sale that we always dream about. And guys, at times we were on our hands and knees. There was a crawl space in the basement hidden. We found some amazing things. We're gonna have a long haul for this one. The footage in the house won't be the best. I had my GoPro on and realized it was right up against a wall. Like there was no room to really move around. So we're gonna show you some footage just to give you a sense of what we had to do to find this stuff crawl through crawl spaces dig on our hands and knees and then at the end we will show you what we got it's incredible we had to you just gotta have to see let's go into the house one more thing before we head in um we went to the sale with my mom holly jolly pickers she's on instagram if you guys want to check out her collection and what she sells um so it was the three of us going into the sale This box was filled with Christmas. We bought the whole thing. We didn't even look through it. My mom and I said there were just boxes and boxes to open, so don't even bother. Let's just buy the whole thing, and that's exactly what we did. Now, here was the crawl space. We had to crawl through a tiny, like, two-foot door, and then we were on our hands and knees in, like, a three-foot space. At times, I was just sitting down, opening boxes, looking through boxes. Dust was flying everywhere. By the time I came out of this crawl space, my hands were completely they were black, black. With, yeah, black with all, all this old dust. It was amazing. Yeah, and we were one of the first ones in here and we really got first pickings, but things were just so packly, tightly packed. Like look at these boxes. They were all filled with old old hats. I also came across some old suitcases like these things had never been used ever. They, it was amazing. Yeah, they were never used and the boxes were so old that they were crumbling Falling under apart. your fingers. It was, I mean, I don't think this place was touched since the 70s. It really wasn't. And then, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes in, more people came in and it got a little hectic in there. A little, Yeah. I don't know, they had it to was like, a, limit the amount of people going it in. It was a bit scary. I felt a little claustrophobic, <laughs> like I might not be able to get out. But luckily we got out and we just continued to explore that house. Yep, this was the room off of the basement, and it had a lot of children's toys. This woman had one child. We f figured out her name was Joanne, and Joanne had quite the childhood. She had a lot of toys. She had a lot of really cool things that were just kept in the family. And I think the estate sale company sort of displayed some of the family photos, which was really nice to look at. We really mm -hmm. felt we had this personal connection to um, this woman and her child and her husband and just this life they built. It was really an honor to look through all their amazing stuff and be able to take some of it home, cherish it ourselves and pass it along to other people who we know will really appreciate and love it. But this was really a digger sale. There was stuff everywhere. So like we said before, some of these things were never opened, which was really amazing for us to see. It's pretty rare that we go into a estate sale where there is, you know, new inbox products that were never opened. Yeah, there was actually a whole room filled with corning ware from the 70s that we didn't even get a chance to go into. Somebody just bought out the entire room. But there was so much new old stock in this house. And Janine and I were talking after, like, it would have been incredible if this was, like, a private pick just because the house was so small. There were a lot of people in there going through stuff. We really didn't have the time to go through every single piece like we would have loved to but we definitely did come across some amazing things like this barbie mattel phone how amazing is that it's yeah a, it's amazing that everything was kept over the years in pretty good condition it was actually very dusty though yeah that's what that like untouched feeling mm -hmm. really came from like all that dust too yeah it was almost like it was stepped out of in the 70s like they 
just left. A um, true time capsule. It really was. And this was the upstairs bedroom. We think it was either the daughters and then maybe the mother sort of uh, started putting some of her own stuff in it. Because in this room, we came across some vintage bathing suits that you guys will not want to miss that are in the hall. Um, I came across some vintage sweaters. Um, and my thought here is that a lot of people love vintage sweaters. I think these are from like the early 80s, if I had to guess. Um, so I just came across these and I was like, I just have to get them. I also collect sweaters, so <laughs> I was pretty <laughs> intrigued. But Janine came across some baby stuff. I mean, everything here was from the 50s and 60s yeah it was really amazing to see and there were even some vintage baby clothes in some of the drawers mm -hmm. which you'll see later in the hall yep i found this pile of cards which was mainly um like congratulations on your baby uh baby announcement type cards and then some birthday cards uh that was given to the daughter and i'm going through them in hindsight maybe i should have grabbed the whole pile but Janine grabbed a whole pile of different cards so i was just going through and picking the ones that i really liked myself and again, this is a sale where we weren't quite sure the pricing. Um, you, It was a digger sale where you make a big pile and then they give you a price at the end. And I think we did pretty well considering what you picked out of that crawl space, Janine. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There's you guys are not going to want to miss the haul. I can't believe what you took out of that. Basement. I know. I Honestly, I can't believe it either. It's like things that we talk about and it just came true. It was amazing. That Q-tip box is really cool. Um, so yeah, I picked the cards that I liked the best and put the rest back for somebody else to look through. We find our estate sales through estatesales.net. You guys should check it out. Um, we are very lucky to live in an area where there are some amazing estate sales. Um, this sale itself was in Queens, New York. We traveled quite a bit and we got up very early. Um, but yeah, in the New York, New Jersey area, there are just some time capsule homes. It's quite amazing. Um, we came across a lot of these corsages and old hats. I mean, she kept everything. It was really cool to see some items that she even had from her own wedding, such as cards and some little, like, wedding shower um, decorations. Yeah, and I think a lot of the stuff that we found in the basement, like, there was, like, four percolators. Like, she might have, mm -hmm. like, gotten those all at her bridal shower and just, like, stowed them away um, and just kept them new in the box. She also, if you guys saw in that crawl space, um, there was a lot of, like, wrapped boxes and Christmas paper but those were all clothes actually like presents she received as mm -hmm. Christmas presents and just put them away it was really incredible I mean look at this old toilet paper and paper towels I went through this cabinet looking for a pumpkin spice tin um, and although I did not find a pumpkin spice tin I did find this really fun poultry seasoning tin and I believe a black pepper tin as well people love to craft with that what do you think Janine I think this is the most crazy, insane haul we have ever gotten. Ever. We packed the car. Now, granted, some of this is my mom's. We'll have to split it up. But we're super excited to go through this packed car and see all that. We don't even know. We don't even know because we went in and claimed that box. We're just like, we'll take it. Everything. Oh, I my God. Even, I wasn't even. I, I never even got to see it. <laughs> okay, we are out of the sale we have come to an undisclosed location where there's a big field and some grass and we are going to show you guys what we got along with my mom so we went down to the basement and the big box of christmas was just waiting for us there we started digging through it and we were like we can't do this we just got to get the whole thing so that's exactly what we did we got the whole box and we're gonna go through it and we're gonna divvy it up between the two of us but we will show you guys everything that's in that box. And then Janine, you grabbed a ton of stuff. I can't even tell you Wait what I found. until you guys see. We're so excited. It's going to be another long, amazing haul. Oh my goodness. So this is the big box. This is the big box that was in the basement. Right, Mom? Yep. And my nails are disgusting. So you guys are going to, I'm sorry. But this is the big box. And we just started seeing things like this. And we were like, I opened this. And I was like, we just had to take the whole box. The whole box. We took the whole I one, thing. I found uh, something like this in the upstairs bedroom too. So uh, we're gonna we'll pull everything out onto onto this grass and um, just start going through it. Okay, this is the box. 
box. We don't know what's inside of it. This whole box is full of vintage Christmas. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna start pulling it out, taking a look. This is unbelievable. It is. <laughs> Were those boxes in this big box? Yes. So you have no idea what's in this big box? No idea what's in this box. Like we started opening it and we were like, we just... What? Wow. Uh, wowie. Wowie kazowie. Oh. Whoa, let me see that. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Oh. Sorry, I won't keep... I wasn't even filming that, sorry. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I just opened this up and look what's waiting inside. Wow, can I just turn one to see? Oh, it's empty. <laughs> look at this. Wow. I mean, we just, this, this is, there's so much in here. Um, look at those. What's the ornament right in front of you? Oh. <laughs> in here. What is it? It's like Starburst top, treetop? Imagine you find your Bradford from your childhood oh here. Oh my god, that would be... Oh wow. That's really pretty. Alright, I'll stop opening. <laughs> Wait, what's in this one? Ready? Oh, Unbelievable. Two Santas. That is, it's just, it's incredible. Oh, it's, yeah. it's incredible. What could even be in that? Like, what's that? Ornaments, pagers. Look, look at all these ornaments. Wow. Look at that. Ooh, oh, beautiful. Wow. Look at that, look at that packaging. Wow, I probably shouldn't show the person's name. Oh, look at that. Wow. Alright guys, so this is everything that was in that one box. Everything, the box, the bags, everything together. Our half of the box. Our half of the box. Yep. And and our the stuff we haven't boxes, gone through. Um two hundred dollars? Yeah, about I think either that or two twenty five. I mean Amazing. Really can't complain. Um yeah, this is our small pile we haven't gone through yet, but those boxes over there we haven't gone through. Look at this, guys. Like, so this is the main show. Unbelievable. My mom and I are going to go through, but there's a lot of duplicates, lucky for us. I mean, there's knee huggers. There are old coloring books. Unbelievable old stockings. I mean, old boxes. And there's a ton of ornaments. Look at this wrapping paper. In the original box. Just the cutest wrapping paper. This is all in that one box. She must have just stowed it all away. We got Tin Santa. And this stuff is definitely from the 50s and 60s, maybe early 70s. Really sought after Christmas stuff. You got your inflatable Santa. Lots and lots of vintage ornaments, like in the box. Look at that. And these, I mean, the total value here is definitely in the hundreds. These little boxes themselves can sell for $15 each. We've got the bigger boxes here. Look at that. We've got some old chenille 
pipe cleaner, Christmas crafting supplies. Look at these wreaths. I mean, this is just pure, amazing, vintage Christmas. And just for scale. Look at that. Unbelievable. There's even a Santa doll. Let's see if I can make my way to him in the packaging. The tree topper is in here. It's just amazing. Look at these. And if you have been watching us for a while, you know, like this is this is what we love vintage Christmas vintage holiday um, this this goes down the record books right Laura like this oh, was the estate 100%. sale probably of 2022 it's only halfway uh, we're only halfway there and we're only in the beginning of the flea market the estate sale garage sale season but these types of sales you really only find them you know once a year and it's I'm speechless some of the stuff that we found you guys are not going to want to miss if you are new to our channel this is what we do subscribe down below and you'll see more incredible hauls just like this wait janine i know we haven't this is so to reiterate this is the pile that my mom and i purchased that came out of that box but janine you found just show us the bunny <laughs> for now found the cutest little bunny. i mean come on hop 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 <laughs> isn't this so cute <gasps> he is adorable he's in really good condition too just gonna Aww. clean him up right there otherwise she's so cute and pretty she's adorable i think i'm gonna have to keep her we don't have a old bunny rabbit like that and look at her little face she i kind of just fell in love with her <laughs> and her little nubby arms that aren't there and her little nubby legs she's so cute We just finished divvying up and here's my sort of pile <laughs> so much and then my mom's and I think we did a pretty good job splitting it up. Um, there's a lot of fun stuff here. I'm really excited about this inflatable Santa in the packaging. That might be one of my favorites. Lots of ties, ornaments, cards, some good crafting stuff. Unbelievable. So what we just showed was only what was in that Christmas box. Yeah. And what we have left is everything that... <laughs> we took so much home that we had to like look at just the Christmas stuff and we actually haven't really gone through mm -hmm. the second portion of what we took from the sale. I'm not really sure what to start with. Actually, you know what? I, I, I know a couple things I'm going to start with. Okay. I think I'm going to start right now. Okay. I'm going to start with this little box. This one? This little box. Okay. And I'm gonna pick this little box up. Uh huh. And I'm gonna bring this little box okay. over to our mobile setup here. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna start out by showing a couple of these fun little books that I found. These are coloring books. And I guess I've been on that color. This is a color by number. Um, coloring book kick lately. Oh, color by number. Were these in the bedrooms upstairs? These were, yes. Flintstone, what was this? That's so fun. The Flintstones on a picnic with Dino. Like, oh, love it. Ghostbusters. This is fun. Oh. DuckTales. And then I found this in the bedroom. This is, uh, we, we believe we found it in the daughter's bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, at least I believe that was the daughter's bedroom, but look at this. Wow. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Love that. So really cool thing to find. And then the most exciting thing that I found in the uh, papers, I guess, um, was this Halloween coloring book. Wow. Hello. How cool. That is so cool. 1989. How cool is that? definitely going into my collection so i found all of this in that crawl space and let me tell you we were literally crawling hands and knees 
personal opinion, I don't really think that we anyone should have been allowed in that crawl space once I got in there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it started to become Messy. quite a hazard uh, with the boxes falling down and people we're were smacking just... our heads and it was a uh, it was a very interesting thing and, and it probably won't ever happen at another estate sale I don't think I don't think so I was trying to keep the path there was a pathway yeah. but once too many people went in there's just nothing you could do there was the boxes started everywhere. falling the dust was flying um, my hands were covered I got out of that <laughs> crawl space and I showed one of the workers like look at this crawl space I got so, I got so dirty and they're like oh wash your hands <laughs> you know uh, which is very nice of them and so I found some amazing stuff in that crawl space that was definitely once in a lifetime oh that yeah that was really cool um I found all of these cards now these are from uh the owner's wedding shower mm -hmm. and this bag is just falling apart and uh it looks like she kept every single card and there's some really cute like look at this one really cute cards and then she wrote like what she got as a gift from each person each person so it was really cool to see that and i i really enjoyed um looking through these a little bit um and seeing like tea kettle a lot of people got her percolators <laughs> um so this she must have had about I would say over five percolators <laughs> from her uh, wedding shower. So here's some from her shower, and then there actually are cards from her actual wedding day, which are really cool. Really cool. And one of my favorites is right here. It is a little bent, but I absolutely love this one. Wow. And this has the old glitter, chunky glitter. Do you have any of those wallet ones we were talking about, Janine? Yes. That one? So yeah, we discovered a few, maybe five or so cards that are meant to look like wallets because they were money or check holders. Like this one too. It's a little like fake zipper pouch where you'd put the check. I mean, with the binding, the fake like illustrative binding on the sides. These are just like so cool. I mean, you know, they still make money or check card holders. Gift but card holders. Gift card holders, but not like meant to look like a wallet. It was just really cool in other times um this wrapping paper you got janine i love so fun so much. had to just uh can't leave it behind it's just so pretty um also found this box is full of just ribbons um older ribbons but older ribbons but nothing too um crazy but i did find a little corsage and a little angel also these tins you guys saw i mean the value of this stuff like it's not like we found well we did find something where the value is crazy in itself but these little things they're not worth like you know fifty dollars each but it does add up there's a lot of really collectible sought after little little things that we found i found this cool ice bucket in the crawl space it was never opened never used has the original tag still on it I think this is so cool. <laughs> so fun to see. Wow, brand new. Brand new. Possibly something she got as a wedding gift. Um, so cool. Uh, this will be on eBay for someone to enjoy it. So in that upstairs bedroom where you guys saw me take out those sweaters, we found amazing vintage bathing suits. This is the five or six or so pieces that we found. I mean, these three are definitely from the 50s. They're in pretty decent condition. I'll hold one up for you guys to see. They're pretty tiny, but these have a great resale value if you find ones that are in good condition, are you know quintessential to the time period, which I think these are. I've seen some of them sell for over $100 a piece, um, but they are just a piece of history that is so cool to see. This little one piece. I don't think this one has a tag, although some of them do. I don't think this one does, but I love the little so pretty. details. This is another little one piece set. With I love the cut of this backing. one. It's really cute. This must have belonged to the mother uh, when she was younger, I think. I just like amazing. It's so cute. And then this green one. This green one is really fun. Um, this one, the elastic band has rotted away. You could just feel it. It's crumbling inside of there. Mm -hmm. um, but somebody who is skilled with sewing could definitely go in there and replace that. It, otherwise, the condition is like immaculate. It's so amazing to see these in person. So cool. I don't think this is a zipper. No, not a zipper. So just a really cute two-piece set. Just like 
stuff you we've never come across before no stuff that i've seen like in antique malls mm-hmm. and stuff like that but never in the state sales really amazing to find them look at these cute little shorts amazing and then we have some i think a little bit newer pieces right so we have the three from definitely like the 50s and then these two piece sets we have this really fun orange like very 60s mod vibe here and this does have a little um, tag mm -hmm. so this top with these bottoms like just so cool yeah it's amazing i think we have the bottom for this it might be in another box this little top is really cute i love this one this yeah. one almost looks like modern like you'd see it today in target yeah look at that and this also i think this might be a little newer like 70s by maiden form and then these really fun tropical sets yeah i saw these um these are the only two bathing suits that i found mm -hmm. you really found uh a ton of them and my mom yes she your mom did some of these look at these they're so cool mm -hmm. that little like tokini set isn't that cute That's so fun we aren't like in the vintage clothing niche but we definitely have picked up a little bit of an eye for it and know that it, these are very very collectible very sought after especially with these like colorways and patterns so these were so fun to find in that home and to just see today it's amazing that they survived these little baby toddler kid shorts were never worn they have their tags on them still um just i mean i just found them like so cute i couldn't I don't know. <laughs> you know when you're in a state sale and you just start like seeing things that you've never seen before and just you're amazed by it. And you're excited. And you're excited. And... So you're like, I, I need this in my life. Um, I definitely would probably pass uh, these on to someone, but they're in brand new condition. That's, it's just amazing. It's, yep. It's, you know, these have the tag on it. Oh, let's see. Wow. Made in USA. So here's an assortment of like the little bit of clothes that I picked up. I just couldn't put them down. Like this packaging for this little sleeper. So, so cute. cute. You could just display it like that. Mm -hmm. Totally. And then this little set, this little baby set um, is a little dirty. But look how cute that little embroidery is. And just these like little nightgowns and stuff. It's just amazing to see them yeah these are brand new never used this is the majority of everything else we got um pretty incredible <laughs> pretty incredible where should i start um we do have i did pick up this one other dress um and also another bathing suit that we missed showing right before little plaid oh that's so cute halter top how cute I haven't seen this before either, so I'm seeing this, most of this stuff that you found for the first time right now, too. So cute. So there was a lot of vintage clothing, but there were a lot of people there for it. So we didn't have, like, first pickings to it, but we still managed to find some really cool things. This dress I picked up because it had the original tags on it. Just sort of caught my eye. It's a very timeless print. Right? That's what I thought. I thought somebody could definitely There's wear a button. this today. This is the front. It's got, like, a deep v-neck plunge line mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm saying that right <laughs> it's got these really nice buttons in the back and this belt that came with it with that little like circle hoop closure and look at these original tags wow how fun is that size 10 so don't creepy or cute creepy cute uh bunny yes box. yes I saw her and um, had to grab her because she's so cute. There's no tag on her. Yeah. Uh, and I know someone told me one time that uh, a Rushton would say it like under there or something mm. like in the plastic. Um, I don't know for sure. So if anyone knows who made this, might be a my toy. No, it's another brand. Either yeah. way, pretty collectible, especially since she's a bunny. So she's like a an cute Easter collector bunny. would love her. And I she's actually like she's her. she feels pretty good too. Like she's. Mm -hmm still pliable look at her little like fingernails i just realized that it's like kind of amazing <laughs> that she has this she's got like very intricate uh little hands there she's a little yellow but overall like great condition you found her um in a plastic bag actually probably yep. the one she came in so 
really, really fun. Janine found the little bit of Halloween that was there. Yes. In the crawl space? In the crawl space, the first thing I saw was this jack-o'-lantern and obviously no pumpkin left behind no had to grab these left behind i have never found one on like the candy stick that was like it's so exciting for me to find yeah so this is what 70s mm -hmm. um this tube was filled with candy like janine said very rarely do you find it with the tube mm -hmm. and this guy and this one's really old and unique he i'm i'm not 100 percent sure but i i would say that i'm more certain than not that this is a bayshore um pumpkin pail looks like it was 59 cents originally you can tell that it is old because obviously it has those rivets that we talk about and here let me grab that from you laura mm -hmm. thank you and these riv this rivet this is one that it's like substantial it's old it's high quality it has a patina on it and mm -hmm. also this um black strap itself yeah that thick banded strap is also something to look out for when you get a vintage pumpkin pail and there's a couple little little things in there as well a uh, uh, little doodads you found little doodads <laughs> i found amazing um not a lot of halloween in the house i know I, I really do think this is the only halloween there and i'm so happy that i got it i want to share with you guys this really cool huge jumbo vintage kaleidoscope that has like the most amazing graphics on it the colors are so vibrant it's really cool and it would look great in a display made in england so cool so of course whenever we go into an estate sale janine and i are always looking for things to add to our collection because we're collectors first and foremost but we do like to sell part-time so a lot of this stuff will be available for sale we're not sure when exactly but we are planning some big sales in this upcoming season if you guys are interested in purchasing anything make sure you're following us here on youtube also on Instagram, and now also on Whatnot. So all our handles are the same. We are Shiny Bright Doggo across all those different platforms. We do some live sales on Instagram, but we're also thinking about trying out Whatnot. Yeah, Whatnot is completely new to us. Mm -hmm. We have not sold on there before. We no. have bought a little bit. We have bought on Whatnot. Um, I really enjoy it. I think it's a really cool platform. Mm -hmm. It's something that we want to try out, and um, we'd love to know if you guys would use it, if yeah. you would... Um, and what you would like to buy from us on there. Like, yeah. what sort of things would, do you picture us selling? Whatnot is um, an app on your phone that you use to buy from live sales. So you're bidding live. But what's nice about Whatnot is that the shipping is kept low, the invoice is done immediately, you're not waiting on us to get you any information, you pay right away. So it's a very fast and seamless process. So yeah, like Janine said, let us know, um, one, if you'd be interested in purchasing off of Whatnot, and then two, what you'd like to see us sell there but this kaleidoscope is really fun. And I think my favorite is this little elephant looking through it. A couple of cool things that I found, um, and I made right to it, like a straight beeline to it, <laughs> uh, this pillow people. I've talked about pillow people in you the have. past, and I finally found one. This is Mr. Sandman. He actually has a little sleeping cap and he's holding a little bag, if you can see. Of sand? Of sand. <laughs> um, he's really cool. And this size, I saw two sold on eBay of this particular uh, style and size, one for $50 and one for $100. Wow. So if you find a pillow people, you know, look it up, see if it's a valuable one because um, you'd be surprised. These are 80s, right? These are from the 80s, cool. yes. Something else that I found in that crawl space was this, it's really dirty, the box, you know, it's, mm. been, it's been in there for so long. Mm -hmm. But I was the first one to open this. This had never been opened. Um, it's a it's a vintage bathroom scale and it's really cool it's something that i'm gonna sealed? i would yeah sealed it i feel badly opening it but like wow it's something i'm gonna pass on to someone yeah uh, it's a, it's something that um i'll probably put on ebay isn't this little dog cute somebody when i posted the picture of the haul they saw this and they were like oh is that your secret keepings <laughs> you know that's the thing too like i saw it and i was like oh my gosh what is this secret keep it's not laura if you're <laughs> unfamiliar laura's on the hunt for a secret keepings plush dog which is the one she really wants is white um and sort um, of looks like this so, yeah a little bit <laughs> in, yeah. In, a, in an odd way um but this little guy we called it poochie i don't know why no i think it's the name of it oh really yeah i looked it up it's like called oh, you poochie did? yeah it is made by Mattel. Mm -hmm. um, 
and it's from 1983 isn't it cute yeah and when i was looking it up it sells for like i really? think it came with clothes originally let's put in a picture here but um i didn't even look it up myself so i have no idea i was very curious so i went mm -hmm. in on ebay um and i think it sells for like 50 ish dollars give or take are you kidding me not kidding you so good wow. find janine thanks so i came across one box of easter like it was all christmas i was pretty surprised honestly but i came across one box of easter um, and I actually haven't looked through it yet, but I did see this one peeping out and that's why I just took the whole box. This is amazing. Wow. Isn't that incredible? That's a great find. This is a little, definitely like made in Japan, little bunny figure made out of felt and like pantyhose. And this is from like the fifties and probably very collectible. It's so cute. It has this little bow on it with like the little polka dots. It's adorable. She does need a little cleaning, a little sprucing up, but I'm like obsessed with this. Might be one of my favorite things that I found. Jean, you were on your A-game. Me? I don't know what happened. Like, <laughs> I went into that crawl space. My mom yeah. and I got that box. I think I think the box frazzled you. I think it did. I think it did. I wasn't on my A-game. You found a lot of this really amazing stuff. I did You find... found some incredible stuff, Thank too. Thank you. You know, don't, <laughs> don't try to act like you didn't. Look what you're holding True. there. Thank you. Um, <laughs> there was this like little Easter basket. I haven't even looked in this. Mr. Jack Rabbit. And look, little like old chicks Aww. popping out of there. What else is in here? Are there Rosbros? Look at that. Little candy container. Wow. Um, this guy's a little newer from the 80s. Mm hmm. Some more little chenille type things. Very fun. Yeah, this is the only Easter I found. I was pretty surprised. You handed me a box mm -hmm. to put stuff in. You mm -hmm. had already had this stuff in your hand in it, and I was like, what is this? This was from the crawl space. What are, why does she want this? <laughs> I didn't look at it closer. There were like three different bags. Um, I think I left the other two at home with the other Christmas stuff, but this bag I noticed right away. I'm trying to pull one out. This is a bag full of vintage Christmas picks and Christmas picks came in a variety of things. Sometimes they had little like cotton spuns on the end. You know, sometimes they had mercury beads. Sometimes they had all different kinds of stuff. This bag was filled with something I've never seen before. These are just like individual picks of tiny, tiny glass ornaments. They're made in Japan and they all have their tags on them. And these are just so amazing. Like, yeah, those are amazing. Like, I've never seen them that tiny. No, that's the thing. Like they're little like bushels of Let me see if I can get mercury beads. This a little there we go. If I put it right here. These are super tiny. Look how beautiful they are though. I mean crafters, vintage crafters mm -hmm. would love these. There's a lot of them. So I'm definitely gonna sell a good amount of these because I just want to see what people would create with them. Like I can't just keep them to myself. They're so amazing. And I've never come across picks like this. So this whole bag was filled with these. It's really filled too. Like I showed the lot. bag again. There was a second bag and I left it at home. And that bag is filled with this type of pick. The stuff you found is still uh, new and to these me. these I've never seen before either. Look oh wow. So I have a whole bag of these at home as well. Made in Japan oh. stickers on them. Quite amazing. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. And then I have another bag filled with pipe cleaner picks with little presents on the end, which are so fun. Oh, wow. Um, so I was really excited to find these. She had a good amount of crafting stuff, actually, which was exciting. She kept the packaging to a lot of candies. Let's look at that. Seals in the original, like, Denison packaging. She also did a lot of like cutting of um, wrapping paper and old here. cards and made her own tags. This would be great for a junk journalist. So I probably will sell these as a lot. We're thinking of doing a crafting sale. Um, so comment below if you guys are interested in that and where you would like us to sell it, either whatnot or Instagram, we'd love to know. Which is like really cute stuff. Santa napkins. Wow. And more packaging to old candies. Love that. She also had a bunch of these Santas, which I was very excited to find. These are from a bank that she must have gone to because it has like, it's like a Christmas savings bank account that they would advertise. And 
I imagine these would be at the bank and you could take some. She took like 15. <laughs> Good for her. I'm glad she did because these are really cute. I was in the crawl space and there was like this little tunnel basically of uh, walls that are lined with boxes like to the top of the crawl space and I saw something the end of it and I started I actually started shaking I don't want to be dramatic <laughs> but I started shaking because it's something I never thought I would find at an estate sale um, let alone in a crawl space on my hands and knees and uh, here it is I found a, a six foot aluminum pom-pom Christmas tree um, and that's how I saw it mm -hmm. uh, and I had to pull it out and I can't wait to show you the way it looks inside. This tree is in fantastic condition. Like the ends of it, I'm not sure if she even used it. If she did, maybe only a year or two. Um, like we have- I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull one out of the sleeve. Okay. We have two trees, aluminum trees, and the ends of them just do not look like this. Wow. Look at that pom-pom. Yeah, the one we have is nowhere as nice as this one. This uh, is beautiful and incredible. And actually, I think um, most of what we paid for was this tree. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was worth every penny. Um, it's so cool to see. It's like surreal to find one of these. These, uh, these aluminum Christmas trees can go for so much money laura right like how much money for a six foot pom-pom in the box brand new like that i'd say like possibly five hundred dollars if not more this is a six foot we said right i don't know yes this is a six foot uh tree um i honestly was spe speechless let's go back to the box okay though. like and look at this like this is the stand mm -hmm. like it's literally brand new And if you guys don't know about aluminum Christmas trees, um, if you ever find one, these sleeves are meant to hold and protect the branches. And that's how you should continue to store it. It's not just the packaging. So whenever we do our aluminum Christmas tree, you pull it out um, yeah, so from this side. You want to demonstrate? Yeah, because this one actually needs to be Because you don't want to push it out that way. You pull it, pull it out. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Little piece, pieces loose there. And these um, were actually just like taped, like that's how they made them. They're just like taped at the bottom. And then when you want to put them away, preferably don't get one that's loose like this. <laughs> <laughs> you slide it through. And that keeps like all these little pieces facing the correct way mm -hmm. and not getting all bent in the box. And then just pull from the bottom to kind of make sure that pom-pom is protected. But yeah, so- <laughs> You went on a tangent there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm so excited. Um, I'm definitely, we're going to put this together and use it at some point, maybe for Halloween. I don't know. We'll think about it. <laughs> um, we haven't checked to see if all the branches yes, are there. That's, that's a good, th good thing to say is that we haven't checked to make sure each one is there. Um, with the way this woman and this household was so well taken care of, I, I think it's safe to assume it's all there. But obviously we will check and make sure um, that it is. And um. I was like, I, I, we, were, we were in there, I wish I could have filmed it. Um, I, I grabbed it and I, I was like waiting for Laura. Laura, Laura was gone. I don't know where I Couldn't was. Couldn't find her. <laughs> um, I'm in the corner of this, this crawl space on the ground and I have this Christmas tree and I'm just kind of like holding it, like not knowing what to do. But um, Laura comes back and I, I tried to mouth to her aluminum Christmas tree. Um, it was really just comical. <laughs> <laughs> it was really amazing congratulations janine thank you an amazing find an amazing sale a truly amazing sale should we end it i think that's all we have so i think that about wraps this up this was an incredible estate sale um we're so glad that we got to bring you guys along and show you what we found and show you a little bit of the home um I'm so happy that I found Bun Bun's here. I don't know, I'm calling it Bun Bun, I don't know why. <laughs> um, if you've made it this far into the video, we would love for you to subscribe. Um, if you wanna keep watching our videos and know when they come out, hit that notification bell. And until then, thanks for joining us guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.